Hi everyone, uh, we thought we'd just give you a little bit of a, a grooming demo. There was some chat about it this morning on one of the forums and um, you know, some people do nothing, some people do you know, extreme things and then we sort of just do a bit in between. Um, by law in Australia, we have to, as a breeder, we have to inspect, that's physically put your hands on and run over every dog in your kennel, um, you know, checking for anything out of the ordinary uh, or checking on anything that might be existing etc etc so it's part of a, a routine that we will wipe them over anyway with a with a, a nice deodorizing spray but um, this is to get ready for showing and this is all done before they actually have their bath and we only bath them in either we go down to the dog wash and do it down at one of the um, the car spa with the dog washers um, or we will just um, dilute some head and shoulders into warm water and do them that way. Never put the product directly onto the dog or you end up with scurfing, which is like dandruff. Okay, so Charlotte will just do a quick demo of what we do to get a dog show ring ready. Right, so the first thing I do is I grab, we use force products because they're easier and we find them locally. Um, so this is the Equi Gloss 5-in-1 spray and I just use that and a curry comb. So they've got little spikes, they're also a horse product. And I will spray it onto a little mitt. Use the curry comb to get it through the mitt. And then I will wipe that all over the dog, bring my head up. Back and forth the coat so it gets right to the root, down the legs, over the back. River was just rolling around with the Kaiser, so she's a little bit dirty right now. Yeah, she's actually quite dirty. Sometimes, if, you, if you're showing them week after week, you can get away without having to do a bathing each week, particularly in winter if the dogs are inside, or particularly in summer if you don't have uh, a lot of dirt. Or gravel in your in your yards if they're just on grass or synthetic or something um, you can get away without having to bath them every single week um, especially with with sprays like Charlotte's using it really cleans them off makes them smell better and it, and it shines up the coat but Miss River will end up having a bath she's particularly filthy yeah she's also I don't know if you're noticing she's um, got a little bit of dangling happening underneath and that's because she came into heat in in January and um, she decided she'd have a phantom pregnancy um, so you know pretending she's had puppies now so we've we've um, not so much milk but it looks like she's got yeah some mammary production going on quite normal her first season um, she was generally generally doesn't happen after they've had a litter so she's next to Jose she yeah, place. she was uh, next to Jose a lot. She's so actually near me. Yeah. Okay. So next thing I do is I grab my curry comb, my brush, and I will just get all that loose fur out. And because the coat's damp now, it will cling to the rubber, and that just helps get it all out. So in the back here, you can see she has a lot of fluff there all of this hair sitting there mm -hmm. so this just helps to get the extra bits out and yeah, just give her a quick yeah. especially on the neck here they tend to shed so I'll make sure to get through there grab all that um, I go with the coat unless it's an area that is really shedding at the moment she's got the shedding gene i don't think any of your kids will but yeah so i'll make sure to get all of that off before i do her trimming Good girl trim. So 
next with the coat, I will go into the skirt, which is this. All this hair on her loin is her skirt. And I will trim that off to make a cleaner cut line. You stay there. Leave it. Girl. See, and then there's no, there's basically no hair dangling there now. So I will neaten that up and she stops wriggling. And just make sure that's a nice clean line when she stands so it's not so, there's not so much hair, hair if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go to the other side. River hasn't been done in a while because she hasn't been at shows, so that's that's how much hair that's trimming off of her. Just make sure it grows to get pretty that quick off. there because all it does is lay flat and starts to hang. So now you can actually see that red yep. the red coat underneath. Now, which is beautiful. Yep. Lovely line. And then it makes I'll them look also, nice and sleek. If they've got a lot of hair on their belly, I'll also just clean what hangs. Yeah, unfortunately, she's hanging at the moment because of the phantom, but um, normally she has a nice clean underline. So I go sideways so I don't cut all of the hair under there off, but it does get what's hanging off. You stand. If you're bored or you know this part, just skip it. We'll take a second. I know, Bubba. Good girl. You're being such a good girl. Been out of practice with this, aren't we, Bubba? So that looks a lot better than what it did before with all the hair not so hanging. chest where the lines meet is a little tuffle of hair anywhere that two two different color hair joins on the dog Stand. you'll see a tuff you'll see a tuff of hair so we like to just take that down a little bit Are so in the chest and in the rear particularly yeah, do down the, the back rear, legs the and the vent yeah okay so I hold the tail and with the scissors, I just trim off that extra. Ah, uh -uh, you stay there. Stop it. You're being a wrinkle butt. Trim. You gonna sit on me? Stop. Stop. No, no, stop. River.
Charlotte likes the scissor that, but you can actually take the, yeah. the the razor again and just go straight up the dog to get rid of that hair. It's a lot quicker, but Charlotte's very pedantic, so she likes to use the scissors. Personally, I like the cleaner look of the, the razor, but each to their own. Yeah. If it works better for you not to have a noise around the bum of the dog, then by all means use scissors. Now, of course, the sooner you start this, so you get your get your ten week old puppies up and and start giving them a bit of trimming. Obviously, you'd be doing nails by now, but you know, doing whiskers as well. Um, get them used to the sounds of like maybe a Dremel if you choose to do the, use Dremel for your your toenails. At least just have it running. Um, these, you know, ask you ask your uh, guy at the shaver shop what would be the the um, most silent of the little trimmers um obviously obviously you know the less sound they make the more success you're going to get i don't think so this is a sheer magic battery trimmer so we got this from our local vet so we got this from our local vet um and it's, it's very quiet, as you can very hear. Very quiet. All right. Do you want to do a trim trim on the whiskers? Yep. Demo. So with some people, um, like the rear, some people would prefer to do the whiskers with scissors, as you're right next to their face and everything, and some dogs don't like it. Um, other people prefer to do them with the mm. clippers so river hates this part oh, no, Come here. it's quite a struggle doing this part but she needs them done Yeah. So we sort of just give them in a headlock, try and stop them from moving. I'm gonna need to take this off. Good girl. You go against it, and you also want to pull the face 
flat because that will bring the whiskers out. Because you'll, you'll tend to find that when you start to do them and you think you've gotten it all. They relax and the whiskers stick yeah, out again. Yeah, and the rips, whiskers will stick back out. So as you can see, she's still got some yep. sitting there. Now let me just show front on. So the difference between the side that's actually done and the side that's not. So that, that side there looks so sleek. And then that side, obviously, is quite hairy still. Yeah, like a bushman. Now, um, you can take off the eyelashes as well, which are, you know, these the bits that are sticking up here. Um, we used to always do it on the boys, but we'd leave it on the girls. I don't know why, just we did. So um, you can take them off on either gender, but yeah. it's just to make the face look so much more sleek. So with the GP, where their whiskers are, is they've got a whiskers obviously on their face there they've got it on their eyebrow and then they've got two markings on the back so right where the tan is there there's a whisker and right there is a whisker and underneath sometimes yeah. and then too. they've got one under their jaw there yeah so you want to make sure that you don't miss any of it uh -uh, river Okay, this is like a 16 minute video already, so we might leave it there. That's basically it. Yeah. So then after that, um, if you have to do nails, do nails if you've already done them. Um, you know, don't worry about it. Um, and then a bath. And then just on show day, which would be normally the next day after you've done all of this, um, you just use a coat shine and wipe, um, them, down and wipe them down with wet wipes. And that's about it. Yep. Thank you, River, for the demo. Good, 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 girl. good girl. Hey, the baby. Thank you, River. Thank you, Charlotte. You're welcome.